All right, guys, what's up? Uh, Sean Ames here, um, sorting through a literally a pile of uh, Amazon boxes because I bought something recently I wanted to tell you guys about. I actually don't know which one of my channels I'm gonna upload this on, probably my Heart of America FPV channel. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So hello to my drone racing friends. So believe it or not, I'm not a professional drone pilot. <laughs> I'm a realtor, uh, sell houses, and uh, over the past couple of years, we went back and forth in regard to where my office is. So when I first got licensed, I set up an office at our actual office building, and I worked out of there for a while. I ended up setting up a home office, and I would only go there sometimes, and then there was someone in our office, another agent that needed some space. So I went ahead and like vacated my office space and shared some space with my wife, which was fine. And then I tend to multitask, and before I had like AirPods or anything, like I would be listening to podcasts or whatever, and so she effectively kicked me out of that office for a while. And so I, I've, I've been working at a home office essentially for probably two and a half, three years, something like that. Long story short, I wanna get back in the office. And so I've got some space. I'm actually gonna take over the office my wife's currently in. She's gonna you know, move into an adjacent space and uh, I'm gonna start working from the office. Well, the problem is I don't have an office computer anymore because uh, my primary computer is here at home, my desktop that I do editing on, and it's pretty powerful. I, I sim and use it for that and that kind of thing. So I needed to get another uh, machine for the office. For my real estate work, sometimes I do do video work. Um, I do do photo processing and stuff so I needed a relatively powerful machine but here recently I've also been wanting to purchase a laptop when I travel with drone racing a to either sim on or B, if I'm gonna do like a live stream somewhere. I went through a whole thing where I literally built my full computer into a case that I can put in a carry-on bag so I don't have to check it. And I've, I've done that now to a several events. Um, most recently, I literally took my entire computer to Nats. I wanna get away from that. It's a pain in the butt. It sucks to take up a whole piece of luggage for your computer, yada, yada, yada. So I wanted to get a laptop, but here I also need to buy another desktop for work. So I went down this rabbit hole of trying to figure out docking stations again for laptops. To take you way back, um, I used to have a Dell laptop 10 to 15 years ago um, that I used in an office that had like a really sweet docking station that like click into you, super easy. And I really, really liked that. But for whatever reason, people got away from making traditional docking stations. Found out that through USB-C and even through Thunderbolt 3.1, you can do some docking station type of things. So long story story short, there ended up being some docking station types of solutions that can plug in through USB-C or Thunderbolt 3.1. The information on those and compatibility though is very, very sparse and it's a little hard to understand what works with what, exactly what the functions are. I had assumed early on that the only way to get multiple monitors to work from a docking station was to use Thunderbolt. And so I had been looking at some different Thunderbolt machines and identified some that I that I liked. I wanted a machine with 144 hertz monitor so I could do some simming on it. So that did limit my options a little bit. And I know that the gaming laptops that do have the high refresh rate monitors are the ones that are least compatible with docking stations because you don't typically dock a gaming laptop. So this was the whole little like rabbit hole I went down I ended up remembering that Mondo, uh, a teammate of ours from Heart of America FPV, one of the St. Louis guys, had said he was purchasing a laptop for simming at events. Because if you don't know, Mondo is brilliant. So I sent Mondo a message asking him which gaming laptop he was purchasing just to kind of get an idea. And uh, he was buying the Predator, the uh, Helios, not to be confused with Helio. Uh, yeah, you don't want a Helio, but you definitely want a Helios. Acer Helios 300, also known as a Predator. I'm not sure why it has so many names, but that's what it is. As you can imagine, there's a link in the description. I went ahead and bought that laptop, but what I ran into is I ended up getting a lot of mixed information about whether or not that laptop would work with a docking station, and if it would work with a docking station, which features would work and which ones would not. So I went ahead and got a docking station that I did not think was gonna work with it, but I wanted to test it, and so I got it in and I got it set up, and looky here, I am able to hook this laptop into two external monitors. I've still got the laptop there. I've got my keyboard and my mouse plugged into the docking station. I also have ethernet plugged into the docking station and then everything so far, cross my fingers, is working with this laptop. So 
The docking station is bi-pluggable. It was their triple monitor version. Uh, initially, I tried using one of the 4K HDMI ports and it did not work. So I'm using a DVI out and also the other normal HDMI out. And that's that seems to be working. When I first got everything hooked up with the mouse, the mouse would kind of freeze for like half a second every five seconds, which was really annoying but I ended up plugging the mouse into the computer just to test it um, directly. And then I plugged it back into the docking station and now it seems to be working fine. Yeah, that's really it. I wanted to share with you that it does work. In my experience, this uh, Helios 300 in this version, I'm gonna be doing some mods to it, but uh, this version came with a 256 gig NVMe M.2 hard drive. Came with the 87, 65 something. What was it? Is it on here? It's got the NVIDIA 1060 graphics card, which is a little weaker than what I have on my desktop, but still pretty good. And it, it came with 16 gigs of RAM. So, so I am doing some upgrades. I'm sticking a two terabyte SSD hard drive in it. I'm also gonna stick a one terabyte NVMe uh, system drive in it and upgrading the memory to 32 gigs. So it'll be a beastie little machine. I'm excited to use it. But the big thing I wanted to share with you guys, if you're considering purchasing the Predator Helios 300 Acer, I'm probably saying that in the wrong order, but if you've been considering that laptop and wondering, will it work with a pluggable docking station? You can see it back there. It does in fact work. So your results may vary, so keep that in mind. But uh, now one concession that had to be made, whatever reason, I don't know if it has to do with the USB-C and it not being Thunderbolt 3.1, or if it's just this laptop specifically, but it does not charge through the USB-C. So I will end up having to plug two cables in. I'll have to plug in the charger and then I'll have to plug in the USB-C. That wasn't ideal. I really wanted something that was one plug, just because in the past when I tried docking a laptop and it's like six cables that plug in, it's really frustrating but I got to doing a lot of research. Most of the powerful kind of gaming level laptops that I found, they don't charge over the Thunderbolt 3.1 either. So it ended up being kind of a worthwhile um, concession. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. If it did, feel free to use the links in the description. That'll help me out. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Heart of America FPV. Later.